So what we're going to do today is talk about another chemical reaction that takes place inside of living cells. It's kind of related to photosynthesis. It's called respiration, or sometimes it's called cellular respiration. And this is a process that is really important to all living things, plants, animals, bacteria, everything. And so if you look at the equation here, and you look at the equation of photosynthesis, you'll see that they look somewhat similar. That's because respiration is almost the exact opposite of photosynthesis. Okay. So in respiration, we start with glucose. That's sort of the fuel the fuel of respiration starts with glucose. And can you, anyone take a guess? What else is needed as a reactant? Jordan? O2. Yeah, it needs oxygen. And again, these molecules are going to be sort of split up and rearranged to form new materials. And they're going to form three things. Now this one is the only one that's different from photosynthesis. Because it's not light. If it were light, we would all be glowing like a light bulb constantly. Right? Because all respiration is happening in all of our cells all the time. If this were light, we would be glowing. But we're not. So instead of producing light, respiration produces a special molecule called ATP. It stands for adenosine triphosphate. You don't need to know that. But ATP is what our cells run on, the energy they can actually use. So let me put it this way. Does gasoline have energy in it? Yeah. Yeah, that's what you use to run your car or your lawnmower. You put gasoline in it, that's the fuel that runs your lawnmower. So there's energy there in gasoline. But can you pour it into your cell phone no. to recharge it? No. Obviously not. But you can take that energy that's in the gasoline and transform it into something you can use in your cell phone. Do you know what you can use? There's a, a sort of a machine. You might have one at your house. Charger? Not quite. We'll get to the charger part in a minute. Have you ever heard of a generator? Oh, no. You put gasoline or diesel fuel in a generator, turn it on, and what does it transform the energy into? Well, yeah. Power. What kind of power? Electricity. electricity. Can your cell phone use electricity? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you could take the energy from gasoline, using a generator, transform it into electricity, and use that for lots of different things around your house. The same kind of thing is true in cells. Glucose has energy in it, but it's not in a form that living things can actually use in that form. It has to be transformed into this molecule called ATP. That's like the electricity of the cell. Everything the cell does uses ATP as its energy. So respiration takes the energy in glucose and just transforms it into ATP. It's like the generator. And it produces a couple other things. Waste products. You could probably guess what they are. Robert, do you know what one of these things is? H2O. Water and who could take the guess the other one? Yes. Carbon dioxide and water. So it's the opposite of photosynthesis, right? Photosynthesis, we have water and carbon dioxide were on the left side. In respiration, they're on the right side. In photosynthesis, glucose and oxygen were on the right side. In respiration, they're on the left side. And then we just changed light to ATP. So since this process releases lots of energy for the cell, what organelle would you say it probably takes place in? Releases energy for the cell. Luke? 
yeah, this is happening in the mitochondria of our cells all the time. Again, these are the reactants on the left side of the arrow. The products are on the right side of the arrow. And the goal, really, if you want to just say, what does respiration do? It produces energy for the cell. Every single cell in your body needs a constant supply of ATP in order to stay alive. That's why if you can't get oxygen into your body, you can't survive. Your cells can't go through respiration. They don't produce energy. And your cells must have this energy to stay alive. And so photosynthesis and respiration are cycles. Photosynthesis releases oxygen as one of its end products and produces glucose. We do not produce our own glucose. How do we get it? By eating things. The foods that we eat, our body transforms those foods into glucose. And that glucose goes to our cells, and then respiration happens. We use that glucose, we produce carbon dioxide and water, and that's what plants use in photosynthesis. They produce what we need, we produce what they need. And so you have this repeating cycle. So to kind of wrap it up and summarize it, the, four, the equations, I know we've said these things several times. Hopefully it's starting to um, embed itself in your brain. So tell me the equation for photosynthesis. Brianna. Light, H2O, and um, CO2. Yes, produces. Transforms the C6H, so O6, and O6. Good. Light, water, and carbon dioxide, we say yield sometimes, or transform into glucose and oxygen. That's what photosynthesis is. So in photosynthesis, energy from what, Robert? The light. From light, usually sunlight, but any light, is changed into energy and glucose. This happens in the chloroplast. That's the organelle where photosynthesis happens. So respiration. Who can give me the equation for respiration? Grace? Tell me what organelle this happens in. Brandon? Mitochondria. Mitochondria of every cell. And respiration is the main source of energy for all living organisms, plants, animals, bacteria. All of them use respiration to make ATP. So, can we get a question? Yeah. Does it matter which order? Not really. Like you could have said oxygen plus glucose here, and that would be okay. Is that for ATP, yeah, that's fine. Okay. As long as they're on the right side of the arrow. Okay. All right. So photosynthesis requires what in order to work? How about some new people I have not called on much today? Uh, what does photosynthesis require? Trista? Light. It requires light. What else? Yes, and one other thing. Good. What does respiration require? What does it need in order to work? Claudia? Good. You need glucose and oxygen for respiration. What is produced, the end product of photosynthesis? Mia? Light. No, the end product of photosynthesis. Oh, glucose. 
glucose and oxygen. End products of respiration. Brandon? Carbon dioxide and water. Correct. The main purpose of photosynthesis? Make food for the plant. Main purpose of respiration is to make energy. How about the organelles? Photosynthesis happens in Nigella? Chloroplast. Respiration happens in Jenna? Mitochondria. And finally, which types of living things do they take place in? So photosynthesis takes place in which organisms? Robert? Plants. Happens in plants only. There are some other things, but for our purposes, we'll say plants. And finish that. Respiration happens in plants and animals. All living things do. All right. Tomorrow we'll review Thursday quiz. All right. Bye, Mr. See you later. Have a great day.